Hello, my name is Mrs Bradford. I'm the course coordinator for Living Independently Life Skills. This course provides the opportunities for you to develop the skills and knowledge needed for independent living. The aims of the Living Independently course are to help you develop and demonstrate understanding of independent living issues, to help you develop and demonstrate a range of skills, and to allow you to gain credit for what you've learned from a wide range of activities inside and outside of school. This course can help you in lots of different ways. Recognise and reward your personal achievements, help you manage your own learning, broaden your experiences, develop employability skills and personal effectiveness. Within the course, there are nine modules corresponding to different aspects of living independently. These include earning and spending money, keeping track of your own money, making financial choices, a place of your own, health and well-being, cooking on a budget, practical cooking skills, career management and preparing for the world of work. So what do I have to do? I will help to decide how many modules you'll do. As a group, we will decide modules and think about things that we want to do and want to learn. What kinds of evidence does the course need? So we normally get big folders and we put everything in Polly Pockets. So we can evidence the challenges with a diary. There's lots of academic work, witness statements, surveys, photos, diagrams and PowerPoint presentations and charts. So what we need to do is get ready for life outside of school when you turn 16. So what we are learning are key skills that are needed for the workplace and home life. Introducing you to adult knowledge, taxes, wages, how you apply for a bank account, and gaining important practical skills that you use in the home. Cooking a healthy meal, understanding transport timetables, becoming confident traveling on public transport, communicational skills associated with the workplace, CV and cover letter writing. Here are a few comments from our students in year 11. Again, another year 11 pupil. And another year 11 pupil. If you need any more questions answering, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.